Well, I was going to talk to Solus. What's up, Colin? Got anything Mages here? And Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You. Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't believe I'm Andraste's Herald any more than you do, Chancellor. That laudable humility won't stop the Inquisition from using the misconception when it suits them. The Inquisition claims only that we must close the breach or perish. You say that now, Commander. We shall see if the sentiment remains true. I'm so mesmerized by the trees blowing around in the background. Oh, it's so good. Uh, why is he here? Remind me, why are you allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. And what about the Mage Templar War? How widespread is the violence between Mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chancellor's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. And who killed the Divine? The mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new Divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve. Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll make sure they see reason in Valroyo. I pray you're right. That actually brings uh, a good point there. I probably should do the Valroyo stuff as soon as possible. I know I want to pick up a few new companions, and that's a good spot to do it. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll um, Talk to Solus, and then maybe we'll just go straight and do that. I really want to keep up to date with my companions, though. It's definitely something that I need to do. The Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. Am I riding in on a shining steed? <laughs> I would have suggested a griffon. But sadly, they're extinct. Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. Uh... Oh, you study ancient ruins? I'll go back. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. He is super bald. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. <laughs> spiders. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating, but you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Yes. Whoa, getting all weird there. Yeah, uh, I, I want to stay up to date with all my companions because there are just so many little sub stories there, and there's a lot of uh, like missions you could do for them. 
like Mass Effect 3 is a really good example of this, and Mass Effect 2 even, but probably more Mass Effect 2 than 3, where they all have their own missions, and you want to make sure you know you do those because it's it does kind of change things. In particular, you know, like when we change companions and... Uh, I don't know, I'm searching all these houses. I've already searched all this. When we change companions and it's, it has the tarot cards, like that's how you change them. It's really good because those cards will change the look of it based on if you've done those missions or not and whether you're romancing like a companion or not. Like Sarah's, for example, which is a, uh, a companion that will get hopefully sooner rather than later she has one that is uh it, it changes funnily like there's it's a it's got a humor to it but it's really cool like i really like how they did that just a small little touch and this game is all about the small little touches and i love it and it's also about whoever's freaking so good at designing these like amazing areas that we're in okay uh before i go get the last four, actually do i need to craft I know I have two pretty good weapons, right? But I may be able to craft some... Well, let's look at my armor. Yeah, I may be able to craft some armor that's better. So before I go do that, uh, I, I have to make sure I change the setting real quick. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll craft real quick. All right, sorry about that. I'm still trying to get the audio settings just right. You know, there's some... Um, it's a fine balance with this game. I've mentioned it briefly before, and I've, I know I've mentioned it on Twitter and stuff like that, but it's it's because of the fact that they have it balanced to... Ooh, that's 67 armor. What does mine have? 73. Ooh. Yeah. It also looks retarded, so that's not going to happen. Can I upgrade the, the... I could put a grip in that weapon. I also could put a grip and a rune in that, so let's see if I can... Do either of those daggers? Uh, I could do a point of dagger grip. Okay, let's make two of those. Uh, critical damage bonus, critical chance, critical damage bonus, flanking damage bonus. Those aren't bad. Let's do a critical damage bonus or a flanking damage bonus rather, and then a uh, cunning is probably or de dex maybe. Probably two dexterity with flanking damage bonus on it. So we'll do both of those leathers as the same and then we'll do uh well, that's 118 damage jeez i think that's the one i made earlier though and then we'll do uh critical chance and dex cool no i don't want to rename that <clears throat> go back and modify weapons i don't like that they're on opposite sides Yes, I thank you. I know how to craft things. <laughs> uh, deadly. No, let's go to the dragon one first, and let's put the uh, grip on, and then we're gonna go to this one. And we'll put that grip on. Perfect. It's just straight upgrades. In fact, if we look at Varix, okay, we're gonna do this real quick too. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you have all of this stuff upgraded um if you're playing on things like you know nightmare is a really good example like you don't want to go into the world and start doing missions without some decent gear oh wow it really does change the grip on them too it's kind of cool so i think this guy yeah there it is okay sturdy bianca grip bianca arms bianca aiming i think he actually has some to sell yeah let's just buy him they're pretty cheap but at least i have also the patterns for him and then we'll put that together and that will uh that will increase the damage that ferric can do and then we'll have to get four power so we can go to so we can do val Royo, uh which is an orle and we will move the story along because i feel like uh oh i gotta change to Varric. i feel like I, we did a lot of stuff in the hinterlands, right? So it's, I think it's time to kind of push the main story along. And I, I've mentioned before, I want to be more conscious of that because this game does have a lot of giant open areas and I don't want to spend you know, eight episodes in a zone, clearing out a zone. I want to be more conscious of, of uh, the different things we're doing. Is there anything that I could talk to Cassandra about? It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. Oh. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? 
<laughs> camera so hard. Uh, wait, you don't know? I thought you knew that. I suppose I could ask Liliana. She has collected a frightening amount of information on you. But I don't want to ask her. I want to hear it from you. <laughs> Should I make something? No. Okay, let's, uh, let's remember the fact that the clan, Lavalan, or whatever, how you pronounce it, actually contacted us. Like, we got in contact with the war table. So, and they denied helping us. But for the most part, you pretty much know that they probably know where I'm from. My clan never stayed in one place for so long. I'm not going to lie to her. primarily roamed the free marches. Oh, I didn't think your people roamed that far north. But clearly I'm mistaken. I'm told some members of your clan might still be alive. Do you intend to go back? Hold on, you did know that my kind of people are the Dales, the Dales, rather, the Dalish, um, all of the above. They they did roam those areas because you knew that from interrogating Varric, who told you about Meryl and her clan. Like, you knew this. Uh, do I want to ever go back? I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lean more on the my guy is an elf and he really likes being an elf kind of thing. Uh, well, uh, Dale. So, maybe, perhaps. I might, once this is done. It will not be the same once you do. It's probably very true. Let's learn a little bit about her. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. <laughs> I'd like us to be closer. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Is that right? <sighs> As you wish. Cassandra slightly disapproves. My name disapproves. is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. Okay. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. And you joined the Seekers to get away from that? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. Okay. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine, but my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish. But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. <laughs> what is a right hand? Well, it's not a left hand. But what does a right hand do exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. Hmm. You thought she could really change things? Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. Okay. 
Should I ask how she became the right hand? So what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Sweet Andras, Do you really want to hear that? It was, what, 18, 20 years ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. Wow, 20 years ago, jeez. A lot of time has passed in this game. I mean, it's been 10 years since Dragon Age Origins. I'm sure you're just being modest. <laughs> I was there. I think I know what happened. To hear others tell it, I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? And the truth is? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. And there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral, but I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. <laughs> Just straight up flirt with her. You're delightful, you know that? No, I do not know that. Mm -hmm. I object. There is nothing delightful about me. I beg to differ. <sighs> I think I preferred you in the stocks. Oh, I bet she did. Okay. We'll, we'll leave. Back to work. We'll learn a lot more about her. And of course, a lot of that stuff that she just told us was uh, documented in the, the small movie, the uh, Dawn of the Secret movie, which I would totally suggest watching. It's really, really good. And yeah, we see the whole story of how she became... It's more of an anime, isn't it? Kind of, well, it's, it's like a weird movie anime. Uh, yeah, it totally documents the story of how she became a seeker and uh, the right hand of the divine and all that fun stuff. So it's, it's really good. Okay. I th We need to get that four power before we do anything. Do I have a full inventory? Ew, it's not bad, but it's not great. So, wow, they are all talking back there. Can I turn in any research? No? Okay, that's fine. Probably should talk to Josephine. But, we, I mean, we need to do something more than just running around the hinterlands and then talking to companions. I mean, let's get the main story rolling a bit. So we need four power. Where can I get four power from? Um, well, they certainly have finished some of the war table stuff, so we can do that. Okay, so that can be an amulet of power. It's not what I quite... That's not, you, you know, not what I'm looking for. Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. Okay, so I need four power, and I think the only place that I could get it... Uh... I don't know. Hold on. Let's 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 go back. I gotta check my journal here. What am I wearing? Man, the, the outfit they make me wear. Not the best. Uh, journal. Okay. And... No. Threat remains. No. Okay. I don't have any, well, Haven. Keep the notes for later. Some technical notes were found while exploring Haven. They look like someone named Tegan put a lot of work into them. Oh, that's for the uh, the alchemist. I could give those to him. Uh, shards, hinterlands. Okay, we we need to do some stuff in the hint. Damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. I really wanted to just get straight into the story, but we need four power and the only way to do that, I think is to go to the hinterlands. That's fine. I probably should just use my map instead of going in here, whatever. Uh, but I do have to... Well, I don't really have any missions to send them on that's worth it. That coin isn't going to be too worth it either. Have you had any trouble with them? So let's get our team. Yeah, these tarot cards, these are what I was talking about. These are uh, what change as you do the companion stories and all that fun stuff. And it's really cool to see them change because you're like, ah... I see. Oh, did I just accidentally go to the Storm Coast? You know what? Whatevs. Whatevs. Let's go to the Storm Coast instead of Hinterlands. I got things to do in the Hinterlands, but does it matter? Let's go somewhere new. Let's do it. I totally meant to go to the Hinterlands. But, uh, it's, I mean, it's fine if I go to the Storm Coast because there's some pretty epic stuff here. I might be able to get a companion right off the bat here, but I think I need another mission uh, that I have to... I think I have to go to Val Royo first, and then it would give me the mission to get the companion from uh, from the Storm Coast. Either way, it's it was on my mind. Your worship, for what it's worth, 
Welcome to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been... delayed. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back, though. Hmm. Okay, I'll look into it. I'll do what I can to find our people. Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an exact location for the bandits, but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the wardens either. Well, good luck, and enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul. Okay. I do like her. She is really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Storm Coast, guys. We haven't been to the Storm Coast yet. Oh, this is so cool. Everything... Was that dragon? It's a dragon. What are you doing, dragon? I've you, sir. Uh, uh, not right now. There's a dragon. I don't have time. Yes, sir. Where you, where you going, dragon? Draggy. All right, let's look at my map real quick. Uh, I can say we have a a, a lock. A, a, I can't even say that. <laughs> Ocularum. Thank you. I just I got there eventually. It's like cinnamon. Sometimes people just can't say the word cinnamon. And you know what? That's okay. But yeah, the Storm Coast is gorgeous. Let's do... Oh, just look at that. Just... God, God guys, just look at that. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's use this. <laughs> and... Uh, oop. Wait, was there one out there? What the heck? How do I get to that one? Is there any... Others? Gosh, I... I hate when I don't know where... Oh, there's one. Don't know where to look. It, uh, oh, there's the other one. Okay, perfect. Um, I guess I could just go right down there. Now, let's let's go up this way. I'll, I'll have to go down there eventually anyways to pick up the shards. So I'm going to go up and around uh, up to that hill where you can kind of see those houses up there. We'll check up there. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, where's our requisition officer? Give, Dispatch for you. Yeah, give it to me. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. I bet it could. Okay, so just gotta gather materials from ships. That's fine. I I need more power, and that's a good way to do it. Is the requisitions? I just I just need four power. So if I find like a, I'm going the wrong way. If I find like a, uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, landmark to claim. Like if I find one of those. Ooh, is this like a hunter? Those must be the bandits Harding mentioned. Die, hunter. Love it. I totally missed. Oh no! Don't hit me! <laughs> hit Cassandra instead! I thought that's my way of doing combat. Not the face! Hit the woman! <laughs> it's mean, but Cassandra could take it. Come on. Yeah, okay, let's finish these two guys off too. May as well. Maybe we'll go down to that boat, get some of the requisition stuff. Probably don't need to. I really don't want to be tanking these. Thank you. Okay, I was a little concerned. I probably, I probably should just make them run in and attack before I even do anything. That, that would be the smart way of doing it. That would be the way I would do it, playing Nightmare. I may as well uh, do that. Just get in the habit of it now, so that way I don't forget to do it later. Okay, so let's go up this way. It would really help to have those mounts. And that was that was kind of my impetus for wanting to go back to the hinterlands. That definitely would have gotten me the four power, but I wouldn't have gotten my mounts right away. Uh, there's quite a few quests that you have to do in that area, which uh, then get you your mounts. So you have to, like... It's like one of those things where the guy's like, uh, the area isn't safe yet. Would you, like, possibly do all this crap for us first? And then I'll give you mounts? And you're like, well, I don't really have an option, do I? What was that called? Beware of falling rocks. I mean, of the awesome freaking landscape here. Oh, it's so beautiful. The storm coast. It's just everything's wet and it looks wet and it's raining. It's so good. I know that there's enemies over here. Are you guys gonna follow me? See, this is my promise. When I'm in stealth, they don't follow me. Uh, 
attack, please. Attack. So they'll get that guy. What else do we have? Okay, we got a couple people over here. Yeah, you get him. Die. Nope, wrong button. I wanted to hit two. Or one, not two. Two took me out of stealth. I probably should, uh, do I want to switch this around? No, I'll leave them as they are. Oh, oh gosh, I keep missing. Oh, this is bad. Okay, stealth so I don't die. Okay, he's dead. Oh, gosh, I did that the wrong direction. I keep sucking with that thing. Come on. Die, doggy. Oh, that was really sad. Ooh, there's a chest. It's a loot central in here. And I hear the, uh, that was two-handed claymore. I guess all claymores kind of two-handed. You fight hard, seeker. Ooh, those daggers. I'm gonna look at that before I listen to what they said. Eh. I mean, it's 126. Eh, no. Would be dead if I did not. And then we'll get the shard. And apparently there's some other thing that I have to do over here. Maybe it's in here that I gotta look. Ooh, and there's a there's loot. I don't even need to use the door. Look at that. They made it very convenient. I could just go through the wall. I use the door anyways These because I'm a be civilized man. Murdered. Shit. We should see that their families are notified. We probably should. Okay, bandit notes. We're bandits. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. All right. Oh, look at the water running down the the wood there. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Inventory. Uh Cassandra weapons. Yeah, raider hatchet. That's a lot better than what she was using. It's better than the weapon that just kind of gave her one DPS increase. If I then go back and go to armor, she's not wearing a helmet, so I could give her that. And accessories. Amulet of Power, Varric only, which gives him an additional thing, a skill point. I guess I'll do barrier damage, sure. Also, let's give Varric his skill point real quick. Varric. Uh, why do you have twin fangs? Did I give him twin fangs? I didn't think I did. Uh, let's go with that. Crap, I'm gonna have to respec him when we get back to Skyhold. Not Skyhold. Uh, Haven. That's it. Skyhold is your base later on. Let's go... It's like a castle. <laughs> it's an upgraded version of Haven. Let's go... Yeah, there's apparently a shard up there. You know what? Let's go do this mission because this will probably get us two power. And then from there, we can probably go to Valroyo or maybe cut off onto the coast a bit, see if there's, uh, you know, any more. Because I know that there's a Astrarium on kind of like a, right to the north of us, pretty much right next to where that house was. Probably should have gone and done that. And we could go get that shard. So, I mean, there's plenty of stuff that we can potentially do. But I think first thing is first, which is we need to break into this compound and kill all the bandits. Thank you.